Hello there, today I'm going to show you how to update DaVinci Resolve. You may be asking yourself, how do I update this? There's nothing in the app that I could find or that the internet could find. So how do I do this? Do I delete it and reinstall it or do I just use the installer? Well, I'm going to show you that today. So first off, close out of DaVinci Resolve if it's open. And then go to your favorite web browser and then go to DaVinci Resolve's website. Um, Blackmagic Design slash product slash DaVinci Resolve. Then click download, then just get your normal thing. And I'm going to enter all this in so you don't get my email, phone number, or city, I guess. So yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so I'm done with that. So then it'll download this installer right here. And then you can see it's downloading okay so once it's done downloading open it up with 7-zip winrar or even just windows i prefer 7-zip then extract it to wherever i'm just going to put it on my desktop for now and then it's there so then you can close out of this and you'll see just double click it and hopefully i'm going to assume it's doing something it is doing something. You didn't see that because Windows works like that, um, but it asked me to allow it. Okay, so if you have the most recent version of DaVinci Resolve already installed, this is what you'll get. Um, so yeah, if you want to download this version, you must uninstall it in Control Panel, and I'm gonna go do that real quick because it's the same process as updating it. So yeah, I'll do that really quick. Okay, so I have uninstalled DaVinci Resolve, and now we are ready to get to it. So double-click it, of course, as you would to launch anything else. Hey, what's different? What's missing? What's... Okay. Yeah, I'll work on that later. So you'll see I have all this other stuff installed. So all you would do is click DaVinci Resolve 14.2.0.0112. Uh, 112, of course, I said that, you know. You just... it. Your version number will differ from mine depending on what time you're updating this at. For all I know, it could already be DaVinci Resolve 15 when you're watching this, which I'm honestly excited for. It's not coming out for ages, but I'm excited for it. Or 14.1, I guess, if that's a thing yet. Um, click Next. I accept. Next. Next. Install. And then... It's going to go through the install process, which might take a little bit, so I'll be back. Okay, so when it finishes installing, you'll get a command prompt window popping up when it's downloading, but it that's fine. So then it'll bring up this window. You can click show or read me. I don't generally do that, but if you want to, just check it. Then just click finish. Then click OK or close or whatever. Then put it in your recycle bin, do that. And then you have your shortcut on your desktop as well as the DaVinci Resolve project server. Which I believe is only with the Pro version. So, yeah, that and I have no bloody clue how it works. So, yeah. Um, just stick to Resolve unless you know how that works. <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.